How's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of Pete's Carport and if you didn't get a chance to check out that last video where I demonstrated the different Rust-Oleum products please go back and look at it. I'm going to link it down below in the video. It's pretty cool to see this new product they have out that we're going to be using today and combining it with um, the Plasti Dip Pearlizer which I have in a can as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get set up. What I did was I went and took a uh, hood or a I'm sorry a trunk that I used to kind of play around with testing some spray things. I sanded down this side here so we can go ahead and spray our um, Rust-Oleum Gloss Enamel Turbo that was in that last video and we're going to spray that on here. Now this only comes in gloss but I'm kind of excited to see how that's going to look with the Pearlizer. I'll show you guys that can in just a second. But I'm going to show you guys how awesome this goes on. We're going to do a couple coats, let it fully cure and dry, and then we're going to add the Plasti Dip and see how that comes out. All right guys, so I went ahead and laid the third coat down and of course it's pouring again in Tampa, Florida, but that doesn't matter, we're doing this inside the garage area. But that coat went on so awesome, I don't know if you guys saw it in the clip, but that this sprayer has gotta be by far the most superior spray can I've ever seen come out. I mean, it sprays out like a spray gun. Very, very minimal orange peel. I mean, there's definitely orange peel if you get the light to hit it. Obviously, I didn't sand this great, I just did it for demo purposes. And next what we're going to be doing is, sorry about all that thunder and rain, next what we're going to be doing is adding this pearlizer. So this is basically um, a can version of what I put on the SC300, which is uh, you're taking your clear that's sold by Plasti Dip, which is, um, I think they call it Glossifier, and then you're mixing in uh, metallic flakes from DipYourCar.com. This is not from Dip Your Car, so it is slightly different but it's going to give us an, an example of how this is going to look overlaying just white paint. Now, you would never want to just spray this on within this time frame. You'd want to let this fully cure a couple of weeks, possibly wet sand polish, and then you're going to add this to it. And that's what I'll be doing to my car if I decide to go this route. But for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to let this dry for the next 20 minutes or so and then we're going to hit it with this and see what type of layer we get so stay tuned guys that's next Okay guys, so I moved into this back room just to get a little bit better lighting because right now it's just storming outside and I can't get any direct sunlight. It's still slightly drying up on the top, but my god, this did exactly what I was hoping it would do. Now, I did this in all the wrong manner. You would definitely want to paint the white, let it fully cure, um, probably a couple of weeks, possibly wet sand and buff to get any of the um, orange peel out. From what I've seen, there's not going to be a ton of orange peel with this paint, which is awesome. Now, I also did not prep this surface. I mean, there's a lot of nastiness to this, but that doesn't matter. I was just trying to see if the pearlizer could lay over it and give us that pearl effect, that flat white pearl effect. And I hope you guys are catching this, but it's identical to how the car came out. So that is very exciting. So my goal really is... Um, I need to get all of the uh, door jams and all that stuff. I can't stand the fact that I can still see red because I love the color that came out on that car. Then I'm going to pull all of the Plasti Dip off 
um, eventually. I'm probably going to keep it on for quite some time. Once the weather gets good for painting, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to spray the whole car with this Rust-Oleum, let it fully cure for a couple weeks, maybe even a full month. Then I'll probably wet sand it, polish it, and then um, we're going to hit it with the actual uh, gallons of clear coat that you can get from Dip Your Car, mixed with the pearl, just like we did. And some of you may be saying, well, why wouldn't you just put a pearl clear coat on there, a permanent one that you could you know, wax and polish and all that stuff. I actually love the flat look. I'm not too familiar with clear coats right now. This would be uh, way outside of what I'm used to. And also if I mess up, I can clear, pull a panel off and redo it. And that is my entire goal is to get much better at laying down these uh, pearl coats without the striping, without the blotchiness and get a real crisp clean look so that I can offer this to people in the future and we can start dipping cars in these awesome colors, these chameleon colors and stuff that are really fun that people might not want as a permanent color. White is a very neutral color so I don't mind painting the entire car white. We did all the prep work already to get it fully painted so the car is ready to be painted um, and once the weather gets good, see the issue in Florida is you have tons of humidity, rain, uh, that is going to basically make it very difficult to paint at this time of year. So I'm going to wait off till um, you know six months or maybe a little bit less, and uh, get a nice day where it's not going to be raining. Get the whole car painted really good, let it cure, sand it, and then I'll apply that um, the plasti dip. And at that point, I'll have a, a little more understanding of this paint too, because I'm going to play around with some other projects. But man, that laid down awesome. I can't wait to show you guys a full video of me painting the hood or, or even the trunk panel of that SC300 with that because it went on so easy. It went on so clean. And if you have a nice prep surface, this stuff is going to lay down extremely well. So highly suggest it. So this was kind of a strange video. It might not be something any of you guys are trying to do out there. Um, except if you have a white car already and you want to turn it into a pearl white car, uh, when I called uh, Dip Your Car, now I don't know if they just misunderstood what I was saying. I was trying to explain to them that if I went and got my car painted white or painted it myself, could I let it fully cure uh, and then add just the pearlizer or the pearl clear coat, which I told them I have the, um, the glossifier and the gallons, and I added the pearls, and they understood what I was saying there. But can I just add that to the top of the car and get the pearl effect and, and protect the paint too because that will throw a protective layer on the paint. And they told me that that won't work and I wasn't sure they, why they were saying that. They said I had to lay down the white plastic dip first. But I can see here, this is a gloss paint and it came out very glossy when I sprayed it. Now I did not let this fully cure. In fact, it was still tacky when I sprayed it on, but it went on very nice. And I'm kind of interested to see how it might peel up. So tomorrow I might even play around peeling it up and update you guys on a future video, but that's not really the point of this. I'm hoping that uh, once we get it fully cured, I can spray the whole car and then a year later pull it up and see if it all stays. So that's, that's it for the video, guys. Hopefully this helped you guys out if you're looking to spray any of these clear coats onto your car. I know people are, have done clear bras with it before, just the, the, um, the glossifier, and it comes out really good and protects the front of your car. Uh, but this kind of helps you out that it will just lay down on regular paint. It seems like it will. And I will be updating you guys in the future. So have an awesome day. Fill me in in the comments. Let me know if you guys have done this and what you guys have learned. And anything out there you guys can fill me in with knowledge, I would love to know. Have an awesome week and a blessed day.